Anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. Oh, look at that. I was so right there. I was. I could have made it. Frank, it's my birthday, and I just want to say a big thank you in the chat for keeping me saying it. I'm on Predator, no problem. Thank you for the for the subs. Really appreciate the support, as always. Not like you subbed right now, but in general, that's me appreciating you, and you like it's a mutual appreciation here. Everybody wins. Uh, I was trying to drink out of this, but the opening is on the other side. So I'm going to flip it around and actually open it. That's how that works. <clears throat> what well, I don't even I actually don't know what cam camembert is. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to google that now. Camembert. Oh, that is a that is a moist cheese right there. Starting on a high note, struggling with the cup. We're having good times. It's good times. Some people just don't know how to drink. What can you do? Oh, it's a cheese. Oh, got my cheese. Yeah. Whatever, nerds. Oh, I'm a cheese nerd. <clears throat> I judge you, but I also envy you. I have one trophy, and I've done a lot of these drafts, and I'm, I don't know how 14 trophies is. It feels like, like these. this format's actually like... I don't know. Spaghetti Toucher, welcome back. Nine months in a row. Ha happy sub baby to us, to you and I. I hope it grows up nice and strong. This is the part of the YouTube video where we all just sit here and, and, and chat a little bit and uh, wait for this queue to fill. <clears throat> I could I could always start the video after the queue fires, but then I don't get the introduction time and I don't get the sweet chat interaction. And uh, you guys were all here for that. You guys are probably going to skip ahead anyway. So it's been two minutes, two and a half minutes. That's unbelievable. But you did get that sweet, like you got the sweet, I, I couldn't drink water out of the out of the cup interaction. So that's good. Oh man, with good times. <clears throat> oh, five drop only step. I feel like we've done that before. I did get a quick tan because I upped the color the color intensity, which was necessary. All right, let's do it. Here we go. <sighs> look at these. Look at this. Look at these angels and demons. I feel like magic needs more devils, right? Like, you have a lot of demons and you have a lot of angels, but you don't have devils. And I feel like we're past the point of, like, um, <clears throat> you know, having uh, paganistic uh, icon iconography in the game. Like, I don't think we care about that anymore because this is literally a demon. And there's things called Hell Vaults and there's cards called Damnation now. I think we've I think we've gotten past the part where that's, like, a concern. So I think we could just put some devils in here. Just put devils in the game. Otherwise, I think I'm just taking Gristlebrand, and like I, I feel like I, want, I can find a way to put this dude in the graveyard. MTG Undaddy, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to take the Gristlebrand. I, I think it's arguably the strongest pick in this pack. Uh, I also like Karn Liberated. <clears throat> Believe it or not, Karn is a very strong... Karn's a very strong card. I can likely cast it on turn three because it's a modern cube. And that's what every person who has Karn in their deck is able to do in Modern against me, so it feels only fitting. <clears throat> Gilded Lotus, that lets us cast both of these pretty easily, and uh, it doesn't really commit us to another color, which is nice. Our other option is Grave Crawler Or Demir Signet. Watching YouTube videos for months now, first time joining. Really appreciate it, MTG Undead. Nice to hear it, buddy. Glad you could make it. And look, now, instead of just interacting in the comments, you can interact in real life. We're all alive here. What happened? Hoot Wyatt, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Six months in a row, half a year. That is awesome. You are amazing. 
you guys say I'm amazing when you like when you like do your sub messages, and I'm just like I, I'm pretty sure it's you guys, because you're literally keeping me alive. Quite, literally, it's not even a that's not even hyperbolic. It's literal. It's that kind of support. I'm gonna just take Gilded Lotus. I do like the oh a Doom Whisper, ooh an Unburial Rites. I'm pre-recorded though. Okay, <laughs> I'm pre-recorded. Greg, can you milk me? That's where we're going with that meme. Um, getting Gristlebrain in the graveyard seems like a good deal. Doom Whisper helps that though. No one takes the Doom Whisper. It's really weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only four cards are coming back, so I don't know if Unbarrel would table, but maybe. Gamma set five months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Doom Whisper because I'd rather have creatures to put in the graveyard than ways to get creatures out of the graveyard. That's my theory. I like Lingering Souls here, and if the Unbarrel writes tables, then we could be black-white, like a black-white reanimate thing. We could also maybe pick up a Tide Hollow Sculler on the wheel because that... I'm going to take the, the Lingering Souls. That seems good. It also keeps us alive for our late our late boys. Ooh, Cloud Goat Ranger. Fascinating. I mean it's really if, if this is our if we're sticking to black white, it's either Cloud Goat Ranger or Aether Sphere Harvester. But I don't hate Cloud Cloud Goat Ranger. <clears throat> Puts a lot of bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Maybe I just take Ulamog. Do I just play Black White Ulamog? Is that a thing I can do? It's a very strong card. It's only two mana more than Gristlebrand. How much more is two mana in the grand scheme? In the really in the grand scheme of things, it's like none. It's like none more mana. <clears throat> sword is also fine, especially with actually we have Lingering Souls and Cloud Guard Ranger. I'm gonna take the sword. Garrick Apex Predator. Are we Abazan now? You're not queuing for the PT. Not even queued for the PT for like years, man. I have no interest in doing that whatsoever. That is not where I... I go over this a lot, but that is not where I find enjoyment in Magic. Like, it's not... When I when I play Magic, the way I enjoy it the most is just streaming and playing for fun at home. Uh, on, like, Magic Online or Arena. Like, that's way more fun to me than going to 12-hour events and grinding and hope I do, hope I do well and... Feeling the sting of disappointment when I don't. <clears throat> I'm going to take Blade Splicer because I don't really feel a need to branch out here. I'll take a Silk Wrap, which people have been playing. Seems worse than, like, Baffling End, which gets any creature. And also, like, it gives your opponent an upside. Like, you can get rid of their Gristle Brand, but then, you know, they get a 3-3 back if they're able to kill your, your Baffling End. Like, Baffling End just seems better, right? Actually, is Baffling End any creature, or is it also 3? Oh, mana cost three or less, and this is same thing. Oh, except Baffling End never gives you the creature back, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll take Blessed Alliance. I'm really hoping for that Unbarrel Rights to come back. Flicker Wisp is okay. We have Blade Splicer and Cloud Gut Ranger so far. Come on, one time, right here. Thanks. Pernicious Dude, welcome back. <clears throat> Man, seeing Pernicious Dude sub is such a highlight, because that guy, that guy... I'm always ho I'm always happy when Pernicious Dude has the the, the disposable income to uh, to support the stream because that means he's doing all right. At least I hope that's what it means. <sighs> all right, now the black is gone, and maybe we're just white. Let's put both of you guys on the sideboard for now, unfortunately. And now we're just green, white. <clears throat> and now I'm sad we didn't take... Actually, I'm not sad we didn't take the Garrett, because that guy is not green Thank you. or white. Violated Gorilla, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. This is a nice sub train you guys have, have started for me here. You are the heroes we need in this stream. Not the heroes we deserve, though. If I were black, I'd take this. I think I just want the Llanowar Elf. Oh, we have to kind of be black because we have Lingering Souls? We're just Abzan? What's happening right now? What are we? What is this? I need an adult. I think it's Liliana. I think the black is probably still better than the green. We have two good black cards and three green cards. 
Actually, technically three black cards. Yeah, we're just taking the Liliana. <clears throat> Don't let our Abzan dreams be memes. Is that how that works? I don't think so. I like Night's Whisper here. I like th this cube is frustrating because we have Gristlebrand, but like, there's no way to get things into the graveyard in this cube. It seems to me that we can be whatever colors we want. Yeah. Eddie. <laughs> oh boy. I really need to shave, so please don't judge me. I promise I'll shave tonight. <clears throat> I like a concealed courtyard. I like it better than anything else in this pack. Profane Command is actually has consistently been MVP. Like once you get to seven mana, and you can return like a Doom Whisper and kill kill a five five or something, it's actually pretty good. I want to take the Profane Command. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but the, the lands that come into play uh, tapped after turn three are not my favorite. Oh, a Leshnorn? That's another, that's another big thing that we clearly need in our deck. Elspeth Nidorant as well. God, our deck is like hinging on Gilded Lotus if we take this Aleshnorn, but it's so good. Especially if we have tokens. I'm going to take the Aleshnorn. We can't play any more big things, though. <clears throat> shave on stream. Oh, I definitely need to shave. Uh, my mustache is getting really long, which I hate. Like, as soon as it goes even a little bit over my lip, I'm like, this is out of control. I can't handle it. And down here, it's like, I'm, I, you know, I don't like the neck beard uh, taking over here. We're, it's, we're all neck beards down here. Actually, we don't have any Planeswalk. Uh, we have Karn and Liliana, I guess. And I want more. That's the thing. I don't take the Immortal Sun, even if I don't have Planeswalkers, because I want Planeswalkers. Could just be Anguish Stun Making. Yeah, that card's good. Probably better than Wrath, but maybe not. Maybe Wrath. Maybe this is a Wrath deck. I don't know if it's a Wrath deck. I really like Flicker Wisp that we just happened to get because we already have Cloud Goat and Blade Splicer. That's nice. Angry Stone Making is a versatile tool in my arsenal. I really like Find Finality. But I don't want the green half. We're all neckbeards down here. I have three Mythics in my sideboard. That's cool. I think I'm just taking Go for the Throat here. Yeah, I don't like it. Like as soon as this gets long and like it just doesn't like I'm not I'm a fan of a well a well uh well trimmed mustache. I guess we can just take duress. I don't think it's a mirror entity. I'm a little I'm a little clogged up on three drops here. Yeah, I'll just take duress. <clears throat> Like, I never understand, like, and no offense to anyone in chat who may have this going on, but I don't understand, like, when the mustache is, like, super long and it starts curling over your lip. And I'm just like, because if, if A, it feels weird to me, and B, it just looks very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I want to say unkempt, but it looks unsanitary, I think. Yes, yeah, so when you feel on the corners, I'm just like, no, this is, I can't, I'm done. I'm out. I'm going to take this guy. Uh, We have no fixing lands. Maybe City of Brass is fine. I don't think it's Graveyard Marshal. I'll take City of Brass here. Life Bane Zombie is fine. Erebos is unexciting, but fine. Actually, Phyrexian Revoker. Meh, sure. Oh, Kolagon's Command or a Nahiri. We're going to go Nahiri, because maybe we actually just splash this and we're... Maybe we are Mardu, after all. We got a Hero of Oxid Ridge, too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh yeah, that mustache is something else, man. I want to take the obliterator because the odds of casting obliterator are actually higher than casting on crop crasher in our deck. I don't know what's going on here, but I also like Nahiri with Gristlebrand, and I kind of wish I had the, the Willamog. <sighs> Orzhov Signet is really nice here. I don't want to first pick an Orzhov Signet, but when I look at this pack, I think I'm going to first pick an Orzhov Signet. Eh, pop that right in the in the old twofer. <laughs> oh. I don't understand the combination though. Oh, I didn't know Karn was in here. This is the first time I've seen Karn, I think. That's exciting. I kind of just want this uh I kind of just want this Karn actually. We don't have any planeswalkers and this is a, this is a good one. We do have a uh, some artifacts three baby Karn do 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 oh I like a shambling vent in this deck unfortunately we're not a gray merchant deck we could take this and keep the green but I don't think that's good because we don't actually have any other I'm just going to take the shambling vent if we're going for black white lands it's probably one of the better the better dudes <coughs> wow the surprise Pikachu emote has gotten a lot of action I'm really impressed with all of you This guy was not terrible when we played it. Metamorph's probably better, though. I like Metamorph better. I also like Solemn Simulacrum. This is a deck where I kind of want to ramp to these big idiots. Did I play with Karn in a previous draft? Are you thinking of the Colorless Control deck that we played? Because we definitely had Karn in that. But I don't remember ever having Karn in... Maybe I maybe I did in one of the modern drafts. They, all, they do run together a lot. My face on the deck isn't Sultai. Oh boy, mine too, buddy. Mine too. I think I like I think I like Solemn here just because of what it does. God, Metamorph is so good though. This is one of my favorite swords, and uh you'll have to pry it from my cold dead hands. This is actually the perfect deck for this sword too, because you have a bunch of little a little dirtily dudes that that can wear it. Oh, a batter skull? Unfortunately, we'll never see a uh what's it called? Uh Stoneforge Mystic because it's not a legal modern card. When you forget you drafted with small... Did I get it with small Mike? Dang. This chat is just mono Pikachus. I think it's I think it's actually Ravenous Chupacabra. I think this actually does more than Batter Skull does. And we can still get a Lyra. So that's cool. Three mana to kill a creature or a Planeswalker. Four mana to kill a creature and a planeswalker, and you can target more than one creature and planeswalker. Hmm. A Mika Chew emote where he's like It's not a terrible idea. Um Revel Arc is also an option, but I don't think it's great here. Like I think we literally have like three creatures. All right, got him. I'm going to take the Quarantine Field. I think it's more versatile. Porcelain Legionnaire, you kind of suck. Assemble the Legion, you're great, but I don't have any red fixing other than one City of Brass and a Gilded Lotus. I'm going to take this because I don't care about the Porcelain Legionnaire. And also, we have a Nahiri, so. Necron, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Slaughter Pact, Liliana's Mastery. How many more zombies do we have? You're an Aetherborn Vampire. If we're making zombies with you, we already won. Um, pretty sure we're just going to take Slaughter Pact here. Wow, this is a late Azorius Signet, really? <clears throat> wow, this is a late Grey Merchant, too. Maybe Grey Merchant's reasonable here? I don't think it's Glorious Anthem. I don't think we're we're trying to go that wide. I think we're just cutting Obliterator into Nahiri, and this will be our deck. I'm going to take the Grey Merchant. Actually, Emmet Eternal seems fine. I played this guy yesterday, and he was actually very good. Uh, I'll take out the Nahiri, for obvious reasons. 
take out... I could probably take out one of the swords. I'm going to take out... Oh, I like a mirror angel because we have two swords. That's also nice. Oh, I'll take out Obliterator. Probably take out Gilded Lotus. I always cut Gilded Lotus because I feel like once I have five mana... Like, the only thing this is going to help me cast are three other cards. And I could just... If this was a land, I'm only one land away from casting those cards anyway. So, I don't know. I'm always kind of on the fence about... About Gilded Lotus. Oh, Karna's in the No Creature Draft. Not bad. Not bad. So. Blessed Alliance. Hmm. I don't think we need a Blessed Alliance yet. I think we have plenty of rules. Go for the throat. Uh, Liliana deals with things. Anguished Unmaking. Ravenous Chupacabra. <clears throat> baby Shark. Why do I have the Baby Shark song stuck in my head? Uh, because of Josh, that's why. Man, I like Flicker Wisp a lot, though. We got. Can you, have you ever Flicker Wisp? Uh, like, look at all these things we can Flicker Wisp. Ravenous Chupacabra, Solemn, Cloud Goat Ranger, uh, Amid Eternal if it gets low. We can just re reset that dude. Blade Splicer. Is it permanent? Technically, Silk Wrap if we want to reset it. We can reset it. We can exile something and then play it and reset a Karn. Can reset this car or reset Liliana. Yeah, Flicker Wisp seems great in here. You gotta, you must be crazy. Like this is also twenty three cards. I'm just wondering if I keep the Gilded Lotus or not, because I could put something in like Quarantine Field, which might be better. But it, Quarantine Field actually feels better with Gilded Lotus. <clears throat> if I cut anything, it'd be just one of these swords. I think it might be sort of Feast and Famine. I know it's weird. I'm probably going to also play City of Brass. How much life gain? Do I have any way to gain life in this deck? <clears throat> yeah, I thought Mike was going to stream with you. Yeah, he was. He said he was going to wake up early and go get a haircut and uh, stream with me. But here we are at 2.30. Still not up. <clears throat> so, what are you going to do? Eh, what are you going to do, you know? Eh, what are you going to do? Crystal Brand gains life. Solid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to the, I'm gonna keep the, the dude in here. The dude abides. Um, we're going to go 8-8. Eight, eight. And we're going to play. This is my first black. We also have Orzhov Signet, which is super nice. This is my first black-white deck, so. Kid wants his money? What does that mean, though? He's What does that mean? How's he getting his money? He's literally just sleeping. Oh, yeah, Bronx Tale is actually solid. I just don't know if that was applicable there. <laughs> Wouldn't he need less sleep if he was just a floating head? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what are you going to do, huh? <clears throat> Thank you. Oh my god, Juposhi himself. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. This hand is good. I'm going to keep it. If we hit a black, we're good. We get to play two things. Oh, black off the top would be amazing. I would be so grateful. And these guys are definitely going to help us cast Crystal Brand. If it isn't nature's little treasure himself, it's your boy. I love this. Chuposhi, what happened to your original username?
Just for you, I turn on notification. Man, Kerwit. I feel like it benefits you, though, buddy, right? Oh, wow. We get to go Liliana and kill your, your gifted Aether, your Guild Sleeve Slifer next turn. That is G-A-S-S. -S. That's not how you spell gas. This is going to be nice. I'm excited. Pikachu, do 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 do. Pikachu. Oh, that's really immature. You're basically a child in a man's body. That's not that's not true. I can't assume your body type. I don't know what your body is. That's how you spell gas. That's thick. Damn boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! Did they miss a land drop? Kapow. Up to tar one target creature gets Glint Sleeve Siphoner until your next turn. Negative two, negative one. Perfect. Perfect stats. When it died, it was a zero, zero. That's all I could ask for. Well, we didn't hit a fourth land, but we do have a Liliana on board, and they didn't hit a third land, so I guess this is life. And the nice thing is, this will hit any three drop they play, so that's pretty cool. Negative glint, negative sleeve. Oh, that's a good one. I'm probably just going to play Karn here, right? Ramping to five doesn't do anything, whereas playing a Karn is pretty good. I think they're dead. I have, I have a good feeling about this game. Yeah, that'll do, I guess. Landlord of Urza. <laughs> oh my god, this Pikachu emote. It's so good. This is one of my best decisions in my adult life, I think. Pikachu emote. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I feel like I need a chicken emote. I feel like it should be the rekindling phoenix. I'm going to keep this hand. It's not great, but it's a hand with cards. And now we can definitely play Karn, so that's cool. Turn three this guy. If we get something on turn four, then we can go turn five into turn six. Oh, it'll definitely still be... I definitely think it'll still be relevant, because even if it's not relevant, people won't forget what it is, you know? Like, I don't even know if this Anthony Fantano meme is relevant, but it's still hilarious, so. That's pretty good. What if I just make this my... Can I just make this the the emote, maybe, for a beautiful... For a chicken emote? And I'll just cut around it and, like, edit it in Photoshop? Oh, look, we both have... Now who has the turn three Liliana? That is a beautiful chicken. Baby shark, doo doo. Hold on, I gotta send Rob a message real quick. He's being a little Mitch. Uh, yep, I'll sack this. That's fine. This should keep Liliana, uh, in check. Creature, land. Land is actually fine because we we have like we can discard a land, discard a land, and we still have land. Gilded Lotus, Karn, and then we can just get rid of this when it's relevant. If you make a chicken emote, at least use the rubber. But that that doesn't have anything to do with the stream though. That's my problem. Like, I want all the memes to actually be... I want the, the emotes to be relevant, man. Oh, double Liliana. The old twofer. 
Well, it's going to be like a turn six car, not a turn four car, but, you know, you get the drift. This is a little more problematic because creatures are hard to deal with. Ideally, we'll draw a three drop so that we can go Gilded Lotus into three drop. There does, there, there does need to be a peppery mode as well. Oh, that's a good dude. So we're going to go 8 to 9, so we could still play a 2-drop. Oh, Demon Lord, Belzenlock, and Mind Shatter. Yikes. <laughs> I don't feel like an insurance... I don't think an insurance emote really has taken up that much of the chat, as opposed to Peppers and uh, Chickens. To guarantee a car next turn. What does that do, though? I think I'd just rather have this. They're going to make us discard land, which is totally fine. They also have one card in hand. They can actually return Bells and Lock with Liliana, which is pretty good. Oh, Pop Pie would be good. Kind of, uh, we can have the pop pie emote, but it's just literally a whole chicken. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. It does seem to happen enough. There's a ton of people who try to pause the stream, and they're like, oh, dang, I thought I was watching Gonti and Mimic Vat. Oh, wonderful. We're having a good time. Oh, God, then they're going to kill Cloud Guard Ranger. Yep, we're just done here. That's all I need to see. Did they not put it under Mimic Vat? What the hell? Why would you not do that? <laughs> it's very strange. Sort of Feast and Famine definitely coming in now. And, uh... Mono Black, huh? That works. Yeah, everything else seems fine. Our deck seems good. We just didn't... Really have much gas there. Oh, this hand seems great. We got a two drop, a three drop, two removal spells, lots of colors. but none of them seem as important as cube gameplay right now. So now the question is, do we just Ravenous Chupacabra this guy? Probably. I don't like you drawing other cards. However, we could just play Amid Eternal, but then if they kill it, I'd rather get the value out of this. We could also just play Cloud Goat Ranger next turn. I guess I'll pay... Yeah, this is fine. We got two black here. And if they play, like, Liliana or Bells and Lock, we get Anguished on Making. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? Oh, that that's a good answer. Oh, that's great, actually, because we can do one of these jobbies. Silk wrap, you boy. And play Ammon Eternal. Baby shark, do 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 do. The monocolor decks are super prominent in this cube, and I, I like that a lot, actually. Oh yeah, 20 life is like the best when you're like, oh, Anguish on making? I'm at a point where I don't even care about this life loss.
Yep, that's fine. Don't I just kill Liliana? Do you have Dismember? Wow, you do have Dismember. That's amazing. Welp. See you later. No? You're not going to Dismember? You're going to lose your Liliana? There you go. You figured it out. So, we could play Cloud Goat Ranger first. One, two, th one, two, three, activate. Like, we're too shy to, like, do multiple of these things. Can I see the Simic deck? <laughs> There's no Simic deck. God. I just feel like Angus Lily doesn't really do much for our board, but I think it's correct. And also, in case they have Liliana of the Veil, I'm not going to play this land because we don't really have to. So we basically traded Liliana for Anguished Unmaking. That's not a terrible trade. How does sh Shambling does not kill Liliana there? Well, that's pretty good. That's very good. Oh boy, is that good. Still going to play around... Uh, well, we have to discard a card, right? So yeah, we're definitely keeping the planes in hand. Smart plays are smart. Baby shark. Skin render. Do, 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 do. Well, that's going to be nice to get back with your Eldest Reborn. So, congratulations. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm, can't really do anything with that, I guess. I mean, we can do three. We can kill this and get back Amity Eternal, which leaves you with Cloud Goat Ranger. God, I wish we had a, a land that wasn't a Signet here. That'd be great. Just having the white creature in my graveyard now is pretty terrible. That's unfortunate. Just give fear. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Bitter Blossom, huh? Well, I don't think we're getting anything back here. Probably just going to move this and call it a day. Yep. Everything's coming up Millhouse. This Cloud Rico Ranger has literally been just a liability this entire game. Last game they put it under Mimic Vat. This this game they got it back with Eldest Reborn. Like <sighs> Seems good. Well, they had no good attacks here, I guess. So, what we can do is get back Ravenous Chupacabra, kill the Cloud Goat Ranger. Let's do that. Uh, 
We can give this guy fear too and let make them lose four. So they would go to seven, take three. I don't think that does anything though. Uh, return a creature card and then let's get back Choops and we'll kill your white creature because we want our sword and feast and famine to do some do some work here. And we're at a point where we can activate Shambling Vent and put um, put the sword on it. So I'm not afraid of like them triple blocking and then... Like if they want to trade three Kithkin for one Kithkin, that's a good deal for us. They also have no cards in hand. And we have a sword, a Choops, and a Shambling Vent. So unless their top decks are glorious, which they will be, I feel like we're in good shape here. Oh, that's true. We can't. Yeah, we can't give it fear because it's got pro black. Solid strategy. I'll go to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's try again. I don't know what's going on. Did they just concede? I mean, I feel like they either drew a removal spell or a seven drop because otherwise they would have played it. What's going on here? Is the game broken? I can't do anything. There we go. We figured it out. Oh. Fascinating. And it's pro black, so I guess you kill the shambling vent. Yep. Oh, you couldn't have killed this guy. I got it. I guess we actually, if we didn't activate, they would have discarded that card. So we should have listened to ourselves and we were like, it's either this or that. Now we have a 4 4 with pro black, which seems good against their mono black deck. Oh yeah, the stream's doing some real some real weird stuff. I guess that's internet's for you. So this guy just kills you next turn. That's good. Unless you can deal us four damage. Unless you draw your own profane command, which would be pretty pretty insane. Here we go. You got it. You get to see my gristle brand. See my gristle brand. Look at, <laughs> look at my gristle brand. There's a lot going through the motions we're doing here. Maybe he won't attack. Well, he did. Ba -do 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 See, this is why I don't like gristle brand, because like the the amount of times it's stuck in your hand is. Not ideal. Take out Gristlebrand for a Myria Angel. Can you imagine that? You can't even pay four with Gristlebrand. If I'm at four, I can't pay seven.
why don't I ever hit the play button? I just sit here and I'm like, I'm waiting for a, a match, and but but alas, I don't hit the play button. Because I think it's just like a regular draft, like an old-fashioned draft, where you're just like, I guess we'll just wait now. Drafts have become much better for Magic streaming uh, since leagues, because you can just go round after round after round after round. Um, whereas, like, in the old drafts, you play around and then you wait. A lot of people double queue because of that, but I never enjoyed double queuing. Yeah, double queuing as a, as a viewer who who was anxious to watch a double queue draft, it made me anxious to play because I'm like, oh, I got to tab over, I got to tab to this one. I feel like it kind of brings the like the micromanagement of like a, a StarCraft type game to Magic, where you're like, oh great, I have to like make click about, I have to switch between all these tabs and I have to use all my hotkeys and like, I'm just like, this is too much stress, man. I just want to play some Magic. I hope they play a two drop so I can silk wrap it. Nah, they're not going to. <laughs> RTS edition. <laughs> Did they miss a second? Huh. So here's the thing. If we play Night's Whisper, we might have to discard. We're going to have to discard. Um, But the thing is, we want to be able to play a Liliana here, especially when they're stuck on lands. So I think discarding is worth guaranteeing hitting a black mana. And we can also discard a Gilded Lotus at this point. I'm not going to discard Karn, because if we get to the late game, that's great. Let's see if there's another black here. There is not. So we actually have nothing to do. And no way to penalize their, their missed land drop. That is sad. Well, I guess we can play a Mirror Angel and have that get countered. That'll be our nice first countered spell. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh. How nice. Try again. Oh, it resolved this time. That's pretty nice. Lightning Bolt it. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we took out the friggin' Grizzle brand. <laughs> oh my god. Holy Jesus, they could have a they're gonna get a Leshnorn, which is still pretty insane. But ideally we draw a black so we can chupacabra. Or actually we can just quarantine field it. Yeah, that seems better. Quarantine field on the land seems really good. Oh my god, can you imagine if we left the Grizzle brand in? What a liability, dude. Also, if the quarantine field ever goes away, which we can actually do ourselves, uh, perhaps. I don't, maybe? I don't know. Then we get the LS Norn back, which is super nice. I actually, I'm starting to feel like bribery is a liability because there's a lot of ways to bounce cards. And a lot of ways, to, like, there's there's Banishing Light, Banish Your Priest, Fairgrounds Warden, Quarantine Field, and Oblivion Ring in this cube. There's a lot of, like, exile your creature things. Oh, we can play Karn and then exile the quarantine field. That seems gas. Well, I'm silk wrapping this guy for sure. Black. Come on, land. Really? Turn seven, I'm going to miss three land drops after Night's Whisper? Give me a break, Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering of bullshit. Am I right? Yeah, he's right. I mean, four lands out of 17 cards does not seem... Uh, <laughs> you're right. Oh, that's a good one. I'm glad we didn't have any... Thank goodness we didn't have any birds yet. I feel like I lost less now. Even though this would have been all free birds. Free birds. <laughs> free birds. Like the song. You guys remember the song Free Bird? Because I'm free as a bird now. And this bird you cannot... You know, it's a free, it's a free bird. You guys understand. Would really love 
one Swamperino. That's where they go. Pick your bird. I don't know if they know that this guy can do this. Because they, they, they ripped off that Shivan Fire real fast. And this is a fine trade. I will trade a Thunderclaw, Thunder Maw Hellkite for a, an Amiri Angel any day of the week. Can I get a, Can a dude get a Swamp, please? Double black, double black, double black, double black. I th actually, I think we're taking out one swamp for one. Then we have double blue, double white, double white, and we also have flicker wisp, which is double white. <sighs> sure, because why not? <laughs> they can't, they can't whip this counter spell off fast enough. Wow, mm, seems good. Six planes out of... We have eight planes in our deck. We have six of them right here. Because that's a real thing. There we go. We did it. I have one card in hand. Can we just kill you? We can try. Lose X life and we'll return a dude. Choose you. Return a cloudy. Let's pay another black here. Boop. <laughs> oh, of course it's a counterspell. Every card in your hand is a counterspell. All, it's all counterspells all the way down. You got Karn liberated? That's a counterspell. Lucky, 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 lucky. Profane command? That's a counterspell. actually seems pretty good huh what da 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 do I'll target nothing <laughs> seems good ah oh, flicker wisp all day get a wispy boy <laughs> oh I am a flicker wisp boy that doesn't make any sense don't ever say that again solid strategy me way to go And this bird you cannot get. All right, so actually, definitely bring in this duress. That was pretty good. Wow, that flicker wisp was gas. If they bounce silk wrap instead of drawing with cryptic, they win. Really? Where were we at? Can I just replay the silk wrap? What was it? Four more damage. Were we at four? Man, what a time to be alive. Literally. Um I think we're fine like this. What do we what do we cut though for this duress? Maybe Gilded Lotus? Gilded Lotus is weird because, like, again, if I play it on five, it ramps me to these cards. But if it's a land instead, I'm just 
about to play these cards anyway. And these are basically six drops, not seven drops, so... I don't know, man. Gilded Lotus is a card that I'm, like, constantly met about. I don't love this hand. And this bird you cannot get... Why do I have this... Why do I have free bird stuck in my head? Because of the chicken? Uh, turn one duress is, duress is not where you want to be. Keep this in mind. Uh, you want to duress the turn before you want to do something. So if you want to resolve a flicker wisp, you play duress the turn before you resolve the card. It gives you the highest chance of hitting a, a relevant card. Unless you're in constructed and you're planning on curving out pretty efficiently. Um, so like here I'm very tempted to play it, but... I don't really want to run a, run a Flicker Wisp out here either, because I feel like that's just not going to do anything for us. I'll just keep up Go for the Throat. If they play like a Legion War boss, I'd rather just have a Go for the Throat up. And this is why we do it. See, now I'm actually going to duress, because they're tapped out. And we get to hit a Cryptic Command or a Bribery. Do they have two blue? They do. They don't have three blue, though, which is nice. Uh, right before you jam the card, that turn is, is fine, but it also keeps you from playing it on turn five. Like, if I want to play Doom Whisper on turn five, I'm going to duress on turn four. Like, I, I would like to play it on turn... F I'd like to... I don't want to wait until turn six to play a Doom Whisper, so... I, we can leave Bribery because they're only going to get... Again, they're going to get a Leshnor and we can just quarantine field it. Or we can actually Flicker Wisp it. Uh, which seems utterly insane. Remand is the only thing you can cast here. So I'm just going to take the Remand. Because if we do draw something next turn that we can play... I'd rather just play that. Yep, that guy's going to be good next turn. If we hit a black, we'll just play Doom Whisper. Another mountain. All right. So I know you have two cards that you cannot cast. So I assume you drew one of two counter spells in the two in the two draws you had. Oh, you didn't? Biscuits. I got real excited, guys. Why? What's our black? What is this black shortage that we're seeing? This is unreal. All right. So you have uh, two cards. Here comes a timely island. Eh? No bribery. Yeah, I get it. Get it. We could also do the quarantine field thing, but Flicker Wisp leaves us with an Aleshnorn that seems pretty hard for them to deal with. So, we're going to Wisp. Hmm. That's something. Oh, if we actually Flicker Wisp this guy, not only does Flicker Wisp not die, but we actually get to keep... We get to search ourselves, which is great. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely search, boy. That's good stuff. And this bird you cannot change. Cage. Oh, they're tapping out for this guy? Deal. Land. That's what I wanted. So now we can actually go Profane for six, get back Cloud Goat Ranger. Uh, return a creature card, negative X. We'll get Cloud Goat and this guy. Our deck is boss. So we know you have Cryptic Command, but you keep tapping out for it. All right, well. Oh, we get to play Doom Whisper and Sword of Body and Mind here? That's pretty nuts. A 6-6 six, six with Pro Blue against the red deck seems pretty insane. I think they're going to bounce it, but... Like, we have, we have 9 mana, so we can actually replay and equip. Which I guess we only need seven for. Oh, because we're going to equip it, and then we're going to replay it, and then we're going to equip it again. So let's surveil here. 
Let's try to hit something nice. Uh, graveyard. Graveyard. Uh, graveyard. I guess we can keep Blade Splicer on top. That's a fine threat. Now you're going to bounce it. Which is like the, a terrible use of Cryptic Command. Servant Volley is like a per yeah, that's like the perfect uh, that's the perfect ex ex explanation for it. I'm like, here's the thing. Deal with it. Great, I have to spend this turn dealing with it. I mean, your only option is draw a card, right? You're not going to bounce this guy. Or you're not going to... Are you thinking of, like, tapping and drawing? That seems just worse, right? An 8-8 with Pro Blue seems pretty unbeatable against a red deck. Yep. Resolve. Replay. Equip. And your move. 8-8 eight, eight Pro Blue. I'm going to hold out hope that this does it. Because you don't have a red spell that can deal 8. And your blue spells probably aren't going to do it. Yeah, that guy's not going to do it. Yeah, that guy's not going to do it either. Actually, yeah, this is perfect. That's right. Our deck is amazing. And it does amazing shit. Liliana choosing a thing. I mean, Zealous Conscripts would be great, but they only deal... Of course, that's what they... Nope, that's not what they have. Ten instants or sorceries. You cannot target Doom Whisper. All right. I mean, if they untap and take Doom Whisper, like, it's what, we take eight, nine, ten, eleven? And we can block the, the Zealous Conscripts, so we take eight? I mean, that doesn't do it. Look at this horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. Yep, that's a mulligan. This is a terrible keep, but I'm going to keep it because we get a scry, and I'm just going to add one more swamp because this is not... Like, I know it's variance because we have an equal number of both, but this is still not acceptable. Like, this is four planes and zero swamps. Yeah. Oh, wow. Liliana next turn will be utterly amazing against the Elves of Deep Shadow Avacyn's Pilgrim. However, this is not uh, not how we do it here. Yep, that's pretty unbeatable. Five planes. Actually ridiculous. Uh, this, is, this is why we don't have trophies. <laughs> Literally why we don't have... Oh look, another. When's our when's our next when's our first swamp? Oh, cool. So we drew this on turn what three, four, five, six. Turn seven would be our first swamp. Seems good. Let's take out one planes and add one swamp. How's that sound? Good. Let's add the sword of feast and famine because they're green. Actually, it doesn't matter. Maybe it matters. Probably doesn't matter. I do kind of want... Oh, we want Lifebane Zombie for sure. That guy seems great. And 
we'll take out this Gilded Lotus as usual. Let's try again. One Swamp. Okay, Mulligan again. You know what? Keepable hand. One Swamp still, but I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to keep that on top. It's a relevant card in this matchup. I'm probably just going to silk wrap this guy because there's going to be very few targets. And I don't know if you need black mana, but it's a good guy to hit. So it's going to be Rile Claw Mystic. Everflowing Chalice. Oh, wow. Is that really another a second swamp? God, I'm so tired of Whisper Wood Elemental. But I'm not tired of Doom Whisper Wood Elemental. Wow. This is just like the perfect draws ever. Let's surveil a little bit. I don't want either of these. What's a good windmill? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's look for a goody goody. We're going to take six, so we got to keep that in mind. I kind of just want a Leshnor in here, to be honest with you. If I can find an Leshnor, I'll be grateful. Cloud Goat Ranger might do it. So we're going to go to eight here now. Yeah, there it is. All right, that'll do. Isn't right-click attack with all quicker? Probably. And got him. Uh, attack Vivian Reed. Attack your face. Attack your face. And attack your face. Three at you. One at the Reed. We won this game thanks to Aleshnorn. Wow. Doom Whisper into Let's Find an Aleshnorn. That's some pro plays right there, guys. Bust it is. <laughs> Seems good. All right. Welcome to Alesh. Let's play a little game called Aleshnorn or Bust. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I'm about to citywide bust. So this is going to go into game three now? I kind of want Slaughter Pack just so I can kill this stupid idiot guy. Whisper Elemental Elementals are a real pain in the butt. I'm sorry for my language, guys. I'm going to go to 41 here. Because we have a Signet, that's why. And a Psalm Simulacrum, I don't even care. Oh, God. I do it to myself. Oh, my God. I've mulliganed every game so far. Sure. You know what? I'll keep this. Unbelievable. Mull to five. 
Well, clearly you were asking for it because you put 41 cards in your deck. They have seven, eight mana right now. That's pretty sad. I don't, they have two cards in hand. Maybe we just win this game because they have nothing to do with their mana. This is kind of weird. All right, let me take four and I get all my dudes back. Why'd you ultimate price after I attack? Why would you let me get in there? That's weird. I guess because if I play Doom Whisperer, it's just worse. Oh, I see. I see what's happening right now. Oh, we're definitely getting rid of that. A boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to actually wait a turn to get rid of the, like the chalice too, but we're definitely not leaving a Liliana or a, a what's it? Not a Liliana. The other card that this card is called Veraska on the board. So. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, should we have attacked last turn? I'll just take two here. We have a Leshnorn and things in our deck that scale pretty well. We get a Karn next turn. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, if they just have nothing, like we just get to play Karn, like eh, that's pretty good. Oh no, they did. They drew. A, they drew something really, really cool. So I'm really happy for them. That's nice. That's fantastic. So here's the funny thing. If we blocked with uh, with the Lingering Souls tokens, not only would we have taken two less, the Pirate would be gone. And uh, when we play Karn and exile this guy, they wouldn't have enough pressure to actually kill Karn. So boy, that really would have changed the entire course of the game, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. I guess we just exile this. We're definitely not dead. And we go to three, but then we play Solemn and we still have... If we draw a land, we have a way to activate Shambling Vent next turn. If we don't draw a land, we've drawn a spell. That might be better than Solemn, so... I mean, we're going to draw Night's Whisper because that's just our luck. Oh, they just have another 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 beater. Carried a quarantine field? Yeah, all right. Well, that's the end. We had a good run. And, uh, you know, what can you do? Our deck was still pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. So check, the, check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. You can check the links out in the description below if you want to have a deck critique, if you want to propose a stipulation for one of the cube drafts. Those are all great ways to support the stream. You can also check me out on meundies.com slash franklapore for some of the softest micromodal underwear you will find. You can also get onesies, lounge pants, shirts, shorts, jorts. You can't get jorts. That would be jeans, and they don't really do that. Either way, you'll get 15% off, free shipping, and free returns. So make sure you check that out if you're in the market for those kind of things anyway. It's a great way to support the stream. I get something out of it. You get something out of it. It helps everybody. So really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.